told you right now, and we're, uh, what, two months ahead of the season or whatever it is, if I told you that this team is going to be successful offensively, and I tell you that they've got two of the better uh, receivers, they've got two of the better running backs, and uh, you've, you've got hopefully a, a, a quarterback who's going to improve. For me to say, Andy, the Browns had a good season and they had it because why? They had it because Baker Mayfield showed the maturity, the learning, and had a connection <laughs> Excuse me, with Kevin Stefanski. That's why. That's why the whole thing, it, it's all predicated on Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield has to execute. Now, I'll tell you what's been impressive for me about Mayfield looking at his workout videos. He has clearly committed himself to wanting to play the game, to being in the best shape, and not walking into this league thinking, you know, uh, because of my first year was so great, my second year is going to be even better just on merit. It doesn't work that way. So Mayfield knows he's got a long way to go to get back to where he was that first season, but I truly believe he can do it. It's just between his ears. He's got to figure it out. Well, you, yeah, I think you make a great point. In fact, if he had a, a good year, uh, a real good year in, in year one, and got a little better in year two, that would make it even tougher to do well in, in year three. So I think this is set up to be good for him. I do too. I absolutely believe that. Look, you know, it's not easy in the NFL. We all know it. No one's handing you anything. And the conditions are going to be a little bit different this year too. For a guy that I think, you know, I think he thrives on the crowd. Obviously, we've seen the things that he does and his actions on the field. He's going to have to press even harder if there's no one in the stand. Andy Bass.